Hi everyone. In this video, we will teach you how to find the minimum variance portfolio in Excel. In previous tutorials, we have taught you how to trace the efficient frontier using Excel Solver tool. So if you haven't watched those videos yet, might be worth watching them first because that would help with this tutorial as well. You can find the links in the video description. So I will assume that you are um, familiar with tracing the efficient frontier. So I will dive straight into locating the minimum variance portfolio. Now, to trace the efficient frontier, we have made use of uh, Excel's solver tool, right? So essentially, what we did was we set different levels of portfolio returns, which are really these points on the efficient frontier. For each level of return, and you, and you can choose as many as you like, it's entirely up to you. I have just selected six points from 1% to 6% in 1% increments. And for each level of return, we have minimized portfolio risk. So this cell, O12, is the portfolio risk, which we have minimized by changing the investment weights. And in this case, we've worked with a, a market of 10 stocks, but you could have more stocks in the market as well. So it's entirely fine. We had two constraints. So we set the level of return to 1%, which was chosen by us. And, you know, as I said, we set, selected later on different levels of returns. And the second constraint was to make sure that the investment weights add up to one or 100%, right? Now, to find the minimum variance portfolio, all we need to do is to remove this first constraint. What that means is that what I'm trying to achieve is not really to find the least risk for a particular level of return, but in general, find a portfolio that has the smallest amount of risk. So I, I will simply delete this uh, constraint and hit the solve button. And first we will obtain the minimum variance portfolio with short selling. And later we will do the same without short selling as well. So hit the solve button here and that's it. So this is our minimum variance portfolio, which has a return of 1.2% and volatility of 5.7%. I would also like to locate this on the efficient frontier. So I will show you how to do this. So these are my six data points, which are essentially uh, these cells over here. Now, if you look at this, minimum variance portfolio has return of 1.2%. So this means that this portfolio is no longer efficient, right? Because it has less return and more risk than this portfolio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy paste these uh, figures over here. And now this portfolio has slightly moved, and this is my minimum variance portfolio. If I've done everything correctly, so what should happen is that the efficient frontier will start here, reach the minimum variance portfolio, and then it will start turning around. Okay, So there will be more portfolios on the bottom half as well. They won't be efficient, right? because for each of those portfolios, there's a better portfolio up here, but I would still like to plot that. And to save, it, save us time in this tutorial, I've already uh, gathered some data points. So for example, with 1% return, half a percent return, and so on. So all I'm going to do is simply to add them to this figure. Okay, So I'm going to add a new series. So x values are the volatilities or the risk of those portfolios and y values are the returns. So as you can see, that has given us these gray points lying uh, just below the minimum variance portfolio. So let's click OK. So let's make this, we can actually minimize this for the moment. So let's make this larger. OK. And let's format this a bit nicely. Let's put a solid line. just to match color of the data points. So as you can see, the efficient frontier comes down, reaches the minimum variance portfolio, and then 
turns around. Okay. And like I said, none of these portfolios in the gray section are efficient. These are inefficient because for each of these portfolios, I can find uh, another one with higher return, but the same level of risk on the efficient part. Now, this is minimum variance portfolio. So this one, basically, maybe we can add a nice data label here as well. So this is the minimum variance portfolio. Okay, just over here. So it's larger. Okay. This is minimum variance portfolio with short selling. I just let's move the top so that point at the bottom. Now let's do the same without short selling. Okay, and it will be very easy to do that. So this was my portfolio with short selling. So all I need to do is go to solver again and tick this box. That's it. Why? Because this constrains the investment ways to be non-negative. So it means that I can't take short positions. Okay, so everything has to be positive or zero here. And that is what we mean by no short selling allowed. So I'm going to solve this again and we'll get a different solution. So without short selling, the minimum variance portfolio has a return of 1.3%, which I'm going to copy here because I'm going to plot that as well, and the volatility of 5.7%. Okay. So I'm going to now introduce a new series to plot the efficient frontier without short selling. Okay. So go to chart design again. Let's add the new series. So I've got X values over here and Y values over here, because essentially I would like to compare those two efficient frontiers. Okay. So here we are. Let's format this as well. So let's add the solid line. Let's make the yellow to match the color. I'm going to get rid of these individual stocks as well, just to make it look a bit nicer. Okay, so this is the upper part. I'm going to plot also the lower part as well, just to complete everything. So second, yeah. So I've already have that data. Sorry, have that data ready. So let's add. Series for the bottom part. Okay, here we are. Let's make it larger. So let me just move this for a minute. So as you can see, the outer curve is the efficient frontier with short selling, where the minimum variance portfolio is here, and the inner curve is efficient frontier without short selling. So the outer one uh, dominates it. And as you can see, the minimum variance portfolios in both cases are pretty close to each other, but they don't have to be. They can also be further apart. So in this case, just they turned out to be pretty close with and without short selling. All right, so we have learned how to locate the um, minimum variance portfolio on the efficient frontier. Next time, I would like to show you how to locate the optimal risk portfolio or the tangents portfolio. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.